Yay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, have you ever had an internal struggle with yourself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it starts with, it's the evening of the dinner party you were supposed to go to two weeks ago, and you're thinking, I don't really want to go. And part of you is like, yes, but you said you needed to go. You were going to go. And the first part of you is like, yeah, but it's raining outside. I'm tired. I want to snuggle in with the dog. And the other part of you is like, yeah, but you said you were going to go. You're bringing the wine. And on and on, those internal struggles you have, right? Or maybe it starts with, there's ice cream in the freezer. Ah, you're trying to lose a couple pounds. I know, but it sounds really good right now. No, 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 no. Well, I'll just eat a couple of bites. You can't eat just a couple of bites. You're going to have half to the whole pint. And then an hour later, you've had half to the whole pint, or maybe that's just me. <laughs> so we all have those internal struggles with ourselves or those moments where maybe we're triggered or we're emotionally out of balance. If I could share a way to help you come back into emotional balance. Would that be okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So it starts with self-compassion. And the question is, well, what is compassion? Compassion is a combination of empathy and taking action. And it's really three parts. So it's awareness or noticing, right? and then having the feeling, noticing the feeling, so I'm triggered having the feeling, and then taking action on it is what it is. So, bear with me for a moment, because I need a moment of self-compassion, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, with self-compassion, we, again, we all have those moments where we're just out of control. And what I'm going to share with you today is a really easy technique to bring, back in, bring us back into a state of equilibrium. And this is akin to the Hawaiian Ho'oponopono, which you may be familiar with. Now, if you're familiar with, please use it. But what I'm going to share with you today is a shortcut version of the Hawaiian Ho'oponopono. Now, in case you're not familiar with it, we know it as a forgiveness or a forgiving process. In the Hawaiian tradition, it's actually to make things right or to bring things back into balance is what it is. And the way I learned it is a very, it's, I think of it like a shortcut version of it from Edward Mannix. But the Hawaiian Ho'opono, I'll just go over it really briefly and I might get it out of order. So it's four small sentences, which are, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, Thank you, and I love you. And the short conversion I learned is really, I'm so sorry, you feel X. Sending self-compassion to ourselves is what we're doing. So again, self-compassion awareness, what are we feeling? And then acting upon it with, I'm so sorry, you feel. And then just saying that over and over and over and over again. And I know this seems so simple. How can this work, Kelly, just by sending compassion to myself? So simple. So the why it works is as we look at the research on self on compassion, actually. So the research shows us, shows us that compassion is it's equated with the reward and pleasure part of the brain. And then love is equated with the reward and pleasure part of the brain. But compassion is awesome, I think, because not only are we giving, right, and receiving the reward, so as we send compassion to others or ourselves, we are receiving the reward. But when we do self-compassion, we're also receiving the healing. So we're getting both at the same time. This is a process I use with my clients. When my clients get into the spin cycle and they're out of control, I use this to help bring them back down. In my own personal life, I've used this to help heal some limiting beliefs that I have, heal my relationship with money, bouts of insomnia. I've used it anywhere I can think of. And the, what I love about it, again, is it's so simple. The hardest part is just remembering to do so. Remembering to stop for a second. How am I feeling? I'm so sorry you're feeling that way. 
right? I'm so sorry that you want the ice cream. I'm so sorry you don't want to go to the dinner party. I'm so sorry you had a bad day. And just over and over and over again. But let me not talk at you. Let's have everybody experience this for yourself, okay? So I want everybody to take a moment and think about the current political state of our nation. I'm not here to talk about politics. I don't care what side you're on, right? But just take a moment and think about it. When I think about politics right now, for me, I'm like, it's crazy out there. <laughs> Nobody can get along, right? So if you think both, both sides, Biden, Trump, whatever side you're on, just think about politics right now and think about how you feel about it. What words come up for you? So for me, I, it's like, it's divided, I avoid. Somebody give me a word. How, you, how do you feel about it right now? Yeah, that's a big one, right? Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Avoidance. That, that's me, hi. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Disappointed. Mm-hmm. Confused. Ooh, okay. Anything else? Unenlightened. Like that one. Encouraged to stay focused. Stay focused. Okay. All right. So as everybody's thinking about this, sorry to get be riled up, but or if not feeling happy about it, go ahead and what we're going to do is we're have everybody give yourself a number. So zero to ten. So we can just measure this. So zero. I don't care about politics at all. Ten. Whoa. Thanks for bringing that up this morning, Kelly. <laughs> right. So if you think about politics, where are you? Just give yourself a number. I'm about a six and a half right now. Seven. Yeah. Just give yourself a number. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> All right. So everybody go ahead and close your eyes on down. Close your eyes on down with this. Do this as a group. Take a deep breath in. Put your hand on your heart and your solar plexus and just connect with what I call the universal unconditional love, unconditional universal love. Just connect with that love. Send that love to yourself. And what we're going to do is have you in the privacy of your own mind, the privacy of your own mind, just repeat after me. I'm so sorry that you're so angry. I'm so sorry that you feel powerless. I'm so sorry you're disappointed. I'm so sorry you're so confused. So sorry it's so divided out there. I'm so sorry there's so many lies out there. I'm so sorry there's so much deception. So sorry, there's so much corruption. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, no one can get along. So sorry, so many people are so unenlightened. So sorry, you're so sad. So sorry, you're so sad. So sorry, you're so angry. Okay, now take a deep breath in and see how you're feeling. Now, everybody's numbers should have come down a bit. I just felt myself shift about a three to four. Mm -hmm. And so when you're ready, just open your eyes and come back to the room. So sometimes it gets to be that easy. The hardest part in this is just making sure that it's just remembering to do so, right? So just having the awareness, I'm triggered, I'm out of control, I'm having a bad day. How do I feel? And then sending that compassion to yourself. I'm so sorry, you. And I wonder, as you start to incorporate this into your daily life, what miraculous things will change for you. Thank you so much. <laughs>